Georgina. Yes, Dave. What's the difference between weather and climate? I don't know, Dave. What's the difference? You can't weather a tree, but you can climb it. I get it. Why am I up a tree? I normally wear high heels to forecast the weather. Because hopefully you should have been amongst some sycamore seeds since you're in a sycamore tree. But sadly, we picked the only tree with no sycamore seeds in it. But that's life. <laughs> this is Dave the Weather. He's a climatologist, which means he forecasts the long-term weather using the moon, tides and thousands of other natural indicators. And having spent a day with him, I have to say, not all of it sounds unbelievable. Where does all this knowledge come from? I mean, have you just been around for thousands of years no, or something? I, it's taken 40 years of research, 800 interviews at all the country markets years ago. I've got just over 5,000 sayings that I've condensed down from 30,000 that work. So they're provable, reliable and verifiable and they all work. I've got all the church records, county records, the archives. So I've got a vast collection of data and I've got my own data to back that up, which I've been doing continuously since 1985. And what do you think of the whole global warming thing? Load of tosh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dave, I need hard stats. What, what are your statistics in terms of how much you get right and how much you get wrong? That's in. I'll just stop a minute there. Behold, okay. Because now you even. He's avoiding. About he's crab avoiding apples, answering. Crab apples. Look at that. There's crab apples. Look at that. Now I'm not going to duck your question. That's in, in the eye of the beholder, isn't it? So yours is more of a kind of um, of an overview as opposed to yeah, you know, like the Met Office will. will the Met Office will be very good for telling you what it's going to do today, this afternoon, this evening, tomorrow, and four days up the road. But that's no good to the farmer who in January wants to know if the May frosts, which are the 11th to the 14th, the ice maidens they're called, are going to come and going to completely obliterate all his crop. So, so I, if I can say to them, you're going to be frost free, which I did, you're going to be frost free and you're going to have a wonderful crop, that to them is manna from heaven, plus the fact that the sun shone through the window on Christmas Day. And oh, it's, the silly, things, it's <laughs> the silly things, it's the silly things that they, work. What does that mean? What does the sun shining through the window on Christmas Day mean? That tells you it's going to be a good fruit harvest. And a why, good why? <laughs> because that's what's come down in history from, and, and I go back to um, 11, 1200, and, and I'm taking my stuff from there. If they survived, we can survive. <laughs> Just another fan then there. No, well, yes, he, he, he's in charge of the sewage works down here and I've got official permission to wander all over that whenever I like. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> if only I had a VIP entrance to the sewage Oh, works. but it's got a wonderful <laughs> lagoon now. And, and it's fantastic in the winter because you'll get 20 different types of ducks and 12 or 14 different types of geese. Fantastic. Right. That sounds better. <laughs> yeah. So here we have homemade weather station. All certified instruments, which shows I'm not a complete and absolute Luddite. I do know my subject quite well. And up there on the pole is a Davis fully automatic weather station. So I've got two independent systems. And how far ahead are you predicting the weather by using this and going out into nature? Mainly by going out with nature. Christmas Day tells you what the weather's going to do in June and July. So nature's working six months ahead. One final question. Dave the Weather, is the weather really your surname? No, that's a stupid thing to say, but everybody knows me as Dave the Weather. 